we're out in the food forest area as I'm frantically trying to do my spring prep. I'm a little late, I know, but I have a lot of trimming to do and I wanted to get that done before the spring boost, which I'm late. But in doing so, I found something. Let me show you. My little dwarf avocado is in full bloom, but right next to it is my pineapple or one of my pineapples. And last year, I believe it was, it started to create a pineapple. And as you can see, it's already doing it again. But last time this particular pineapple did it, before this pineapple bloom, which is the center part right here, started to even resemble a pineapple. Somebody came in here and ate it, which made me very angry. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to try to prevent that happening again this year. I've taken a bit of chicken wire that I had left over and I made a little collar out of it. I simply clipped a length that I thought was desirable and then I bent the wire over at the joint to create a circle. And I'm gonna go ahead and lift the inner leaves of the pineapple and slip this collar around it. All right, so as you can see, I pulled these leaves inward as I placed the collar around that. So that way the base of the collar would sit farther down the plant. I also very gently pushed the bottom of the wire closer so that way it would sit snugly at the base and that ideally this coverage you want to be beneath the start of your pineapple plant. Now of course I have this open top but I'm just going to take another section of the chicken wire and slide it on top and fasten that so that I have an impromptu pineapple cage. So there's our top. We just tied it on with string. And then on this section, I actually folded it down to wrap around some of the leaves. I did end up having to bend that one leaf, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, you know? So it isn't the most beautiful thing, but I've covered the things that I need to. I've made sure that it is open so that water can still get down into there because that is important. This is a part of the bromeliad family and they do center feeding as well as root feeding, but primary center feeding as they're mature. I also made sure that there were no holes along the side of my connections that were squirrel size so the squirrel couldn't get in there. And then at the base, I tucked and folded it inward towards the plant so that the squirrels couldn't enter from the bottom sides. So there you go. I will give you an update once this continues and we have a pineapple worth seeing. Thanks for watching.